Xavier, what is the concept behind Creo Capsule? So the company initially was con uh, was created in order to address questions regarding correlative light and electron microscopy. So during my PhD, I invented a tool, the Creo Capsule, which is here, which is technically a small uh, petri dish into which you can culture your cells of interest and what we want to do is to be able to observe them and at a given time vitrify them by high pressure freezing. Um, so everything around cryocapsid is about being able to uh, image something, a live sample, whatever, a biological sample, and then at a given time fix it very rapidly to be able to track it in electron microscopy and then merge the two images together. So that's the, that's the main idea behind and uh, after creating the cryo capsule, what we decided is that we wanted to go very fast from the live cell imaging to high pressure freezing. So we created a new concept, the high pressure freezer, which is connected to a light microscope. Um, and this is something we're uh, currently developing actively together with Zeiss uh, microscopy, where we can bind an uh, air scan system together with our high pressure freezer so that we can do high resolution live cell imaging with high sensitivity and at a given time freeze the sample. The following steps, which are uh, electron microscopy, whether it's in 2D or in 3D, and depending on what you want to address, uh, can be done uh, with any type of microscope. And we have then developed some software to combine these images together. Thank you. Let's go to the machine. Great. What you will do first? So the first thing is to take the capsules and, and uh, culture directly your cells of interest inside the capsule. So as I said before, the capsule is kind of a small petri dish where you can uh, see here a gold spacer ring and the different landmarks and the cells are just growing all around. What you will do then is you will just get a covering sapphire disc like this one, which is exactly fitting the inside of the capsule where you can drop the sample. And then this means that your samples will be isolated between the sapphire disc of the cryo capsule and the covering sapphire disc. What we will do then is to blot the whole thing, to remove the excess of water, which is a problematic uh, element for high pressure freezing. And then we will just load the whole capsule inside the clamp for the high pressure freezing. So we take the capsule here and drop it inside the clamp, close the whole system, and then just screw it all the way in. Now we're ready for imaging. So now the sample is ready and we will be able to load it inside the machine. So we just remove the objective to avoid damaging it when inserting the sample. And then we come and get the whole thing here plugged. The objective is going back in place and we can start doing the imaging. So after locating the cells and identifying the samples according to the carbon landmark in the cryo capsule, we can find the focus of the sample and start the fluorescent imaging on the channel of interest. Assuming you have an scan system, you can also compensate for the quality of the images and um, for the objectives which are bound to the air objectives due to the high pressure freezing approach. Once you have identified the sample of interest, just use the system and high pressure freeze. The sample is reacted. So now we can continue with the sample for high pressure for free substitution or cryo-imaging, depending on your scientific question. Thank you, Xavier. Thanks.